Alex Edelman has been drawing plenty of attention in the world of comedy, including from some of his heroes. He is currently starring in the off-Broadway show Just For Us. And comedy greats like Steve Martin, Love Him, Jerry Seinfeld, and Ben Stiller have all made their way to go see the small, to go see him in that small theater. And so did our very own Jamie Wax. Jamie, good morning. Good morning, Adriana. Good morning. The show, which is nominated for a Critics Circle Award, by the way, is the latest triumph for the comedian who puts his personal history and his heritage front and center in his work. My twin brother is a professional bodybuilder. And people are like, are you guys identical twins? And I'm like, we used to be. Alex Edelman is a busy rising star in the world of comedy. I do think I am like genuinely obsessed with comedy. I love the comedian's approach. I love the uniqueness of comedians. I love the insistence on funny first. That's like, been a gift in your life. I'm very privileged in the sense that, like, I went to, I grew up in Boston, an amazing comedy town, and then I incubated in New York. Now a regular performer at the legendary Comedy Cellar and other top clubs, he also has a hit show off Broadway titled Just For Us. My father's name is Elazar. That's the name that he goes by. And he's like, you're not proud of your Hebrew name? And I'm like, no. And he's like, why not? And I'm like, I don't know, Elazar. Maybe because it sounds like we're all in Slytherin. That's why. <laughs> How does a kid from such a nice family in Brookline, Massachusetts, get started in stand-up comedy? Uh, well, first you're on your way to a, a Jewish hockey camp and someone puts on a Brian Regan CD. <laughs> and then you fall in love with it. And I fell into it really hard and uh, started doing comedy in Israel. And then it became a way of self-expression, which is really tacky to say, but like, felt like the neatest way for me to commercialize my ADHD. <laughs> uh, this Thanksgiving was weird because this Thanksgiving I came out to my family. Um, I'm not gay, I just thought it would be hilarious. <laughs> his family encouraged both his work ethic and the idea that he should follow his talents and his heart. The KFC that I worked at was in Penn Station in New York and I worked the 1 a.m. to 8 a.m. shift. <laughs> at one o'clock in the morning, in a fast food restaurant in Penn Station. Can I help you is not good customer service. <laughs> it's a promise you can't keep. My parents have always been like super encouraging, like just to do a job that makes me happy. My mom said to me like, don't have a job where you're like trapped behind a desk, like mm. do a job that's like, and I did this to like meet different kinds of people and go to different kinds of places. So, you know, mission accomplished. Edelman's grandfather and his Jewish upbringing are especially big influences in the comedian's life, on and off stage. My grandfather was this like great man who somehow projected stoicism and devoutness and good humor and a love of Judaism and a healthy disregard for authority, but a great respect for standard all at once. He embodied all these great contradictions and, and he's, I think, one of the places I get my sense of humor from. I was at a children's birthday party in a Chuck E. Cheese in Watertown, Massachusetts. And I reached for a slice of pizza that had some sausage on it or pepperoni, something not kosher. And my grandfather saw me reaching and very lightly, he just kicked my hand away. And I went, oh! And he went, you can't have that, David. We're Jewish. And I said, what does that mean? And with a totally straight face, he just went, it means you'll never be happy. <laughs> There's a great story from your childhood about a family Gentile friend who is grieving. Kate, yeah. And your Orthodox family decided to throw Christmas for her, basically. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's my favorite bit of the show. We do Christmas, and oh my God, do we do Christmas. The lights, the Christmas dinner. My mom put up stockings above the fireplace with our names on them in Hebrew. <laughs> and I thought it was this beautiful example of like unconventional Jewish value. To me, it was the framework, that Jewish framework, there's so much comedy and in inherent paradox. <laughs> and so like that story's so rich with it. Hi guys, surprised you can afford to come to a comedy club on a weekend, but. Chasing comedy and contradiction is what his off-Broadway show Just For Us is all about. Personal memories and observations are intertwined with the incredible narrative of him attending a white nationalist meeting. Like the hook is like, you know, Jew goes to a meeting of white nationalists. What's gonna happen? We won't give away the story, but Edelman kept his humor 
and his calm intact. How much adrenaline was going through your body at that meeting at that you time? You know, the funny thing is that there was one moment, there was only one moment where I felt like I was in real danger. But it wasn't even real danger. It was like, you know the feeling you get in your stomach when you were in trouble with the principal? They seemed upset that I had lied. Mm. And I was like, well, I never said I wasn't Jewish. You know, like it was, <laughs> all right, how you guys doing okay? The show is presented and financed with the help of one of Edelman's mentors and idols, comedian and solo show legend Mike Birbiglia. So here it is. Yeah, this is our space. This is the third theater we've done the show in. In that first week, we had a critics pick from the New York Times, which was a delight. Jerry Seinfeld came, and like since then, we've just been, you know, we, we've had this tremendous run of luck. You got notes for yourself here on this dry erase board. Yeah, before the show, about 20 minutes before, we figure out the five things that I want to focus on for the show. I have cousins Menachem and Yitzchak. You can't even spell their names correctly because there's no English letter for phlegm. <laughs> because it's a funny show, I feel like you take away the meaning a little more deeply. Comedy is a great Trojan horse for that. Comedy is such a great way to communicate an idea. I can think of a lot of jokes that have communicated really complicated ideas to me in really simple ways. Communicating those complicated ideas in simple ways is especially relevant in today's America. Part of this story is that you're sort of trying to, to put something in a box to give yourself some comfort, and it won't quite get into yeah. the box. <laughs> the show is also about assimilation, right? Like the experience of living in America where you have a distinct identity, for me, Jewish, and, you know, not quite understanding how that fits in with the sort of American picture. Your brother's an Olympian. Yeah. For Israel. Yeah. The Winter Olympics? I know. Does Israel have winters? Not really. He had a train in Munich in what must be the irony to end all ironies. <laughs> and the audience members, What's Jewish sport? and not, have been coming to see it in droves. But that's not enough for Edelman, who's always on the lookout for what's coming next. My defining characteristic is my curiosity. I honestly think the best thing a comedian can be is curious. And the second best thing is to be a good editor of your own thing. Thank you guys, you've been all right. I'm Alex Edelman. My natural curiosity is gonna find the next thing and I'm already turning over rocks and looking for it, so we'll see. Just For Us runs at the Greenwich House Theater here in New York through August 26th. And if you're in New York, tomorrow night there's a conversation between Alex and CBS's own Stephen Colbert Ooh, at the 92nd wow. Street Y. You gotta Ugh. get the tickets, I gotta go, I'm still laughing. Uh, you will love it. And it's very provocative, very, very uh, thought-provoking. And all cultures can relate to the story of assimilation and feeling a little bit like the odd man out. Absolutely. And him saying he wants to commercialize his ADHD. You know, <laughs> That's a story of my life, right? <laughs> <laughs> story for all of us.